Hello and welcome to a new 3CX tutorial. Today, we are going to see how to set up the voicemail. First, you will need to log in to the management console. Then, you must go to the extensions page. Please refer to the previous video how to create an extension. Now, you need to enter a specific extension, where you want to set up the voicemail. Click on the extension, and then click on voicemail tab. Now, in the voicemail page, you can choose if you want to enable the voicemail or not. There are some features that you can change, such as Voicemail language, the prompt language PIN number This is the code the user need to access to the voicemails from another extension. This PIN is defined and updated only at this point. If the user needs to change it, it must be done through an administrator. Read date, time, the date and time when the voicemail was received, is played by clicking on this option. You can choose the format of the date and time that is going to be played, AMPM format or 24 hours format. Email options, here are four possible options. Option 1, do not send notifications when receiving voice messages. Option 2, if the user prefers to receive a notification to his email when he receives a voice message. Option 3, if the user wants to get an email notification with an attached voice file, so the message could be heard directly from the email without having to access the mailbox. This is very useful if the user is out of the office. Option 4, if the user also wants the voice message attached to the email to be deleted from the mailbox. Select the best option for your user. Now, we have two checkboxes here. Disable voicemail pin authentication, check this option when you need to call the voicemail extension to receive calls in a phone provisioned in a specific extension, without needing to set a pin number to listen to voicemails. Calling to the voicemail system from the outside by the DID, will still require authentication with the PIN number. If this option is not checked, and there are three failed authentication attempts, the access will be blocked for two minutes. Play caller ID, check this option if you want the caller's number to be played when listening to messages. Below these options, you are going to be able to choose to record a greeting audio, or if you want to upload a recording that you already have in your computer. In this occasion, we will record one from the phone. You must click here, and then set the name of the recording and the extension number that is going to record the voicemail. Right now, I'm going to choose the operator extension, when I click OK I'm going to receive a call. Record your message, then press pound. Follow the instructions in the call and you will successfully record your desired voicemail. After recording the audio. You will notice that if you click here in this drop-down list, you will find the name of the file that you just created. Then, you have to select it in this field. Once this is done, you will have the extension set with a welcome voice message. You can have several messages recorded and select which one to use, which is very useful for holidays or special events. It is important to know that the previous recording is going to work just in the specific extension. If you need one specific voicemail for different extensions, you can save a recording and then upload it on the wanted extensions. Hope you've enjoyed this video. See you next time.